Here's a tour of the drive unit for the battery powered tow cover roller. The box has one, two lead acid battery deep cycles. These are when they rated per 150 amp hours. And so together in the series, they're the 24 volt power supply. Uh, this thing is a uh, battery over discharge protection, so it prevents the whole thing from running if uh, the battery voltage drops below a certain level. This is a charger that's currently disconnected because it always keep it disconnected because it always has some little caps or something that are charging, therefore it, it's always providing some tiny drain. Uh, circuit breaker to protect the whole thing from overcurrent and to provide a main on off switch when that's on now I see the blinking out means that it is allowing discharge and the contactor is currently open so there's no current yet and then this is the motor controller which is a hundred amp uh, pulse width modulator and it is signaled by the switches and potentiometer on this control box and so the power and logic cables come out and run power to the wheelchair motor and control to this so when I turn it on you can hear the uh, hear the contactor click so now there's power to the motor controller and now if I give it a direction forward or reverse and then turn up speed below zero. Now I'm gonna get variable speed control of the wheelchair gear motor. So uh, we know these are super torquey. Matt and I tested one of these motors and uh, we were able to pull a 3,000 pound vehicle or something across the shop with a pulley winch and we calculated the torques were really high and uh, so limited to 70 amps here and 100 amps at the PWM. We're confident that it's gonna be plenty strong enough. Should be able to reverse it. So yeah, <clears throat> this all goes on the frame that Matt and Aris have been putting together and it'll be at uh, Expo Champio in one week's time. Yeah, so we're finishing the prototype of full seven days in advance. Pretty good.